welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be answering one of the most frequently asked questions that I get on Instagram, and that is how I edit my Instagram pictures and also how I maintain like a theme and have all of my pictures kind of like look nice on my grid. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, my username is just at Maggie McDonald. I will have like a little overlay of what my Instagram looks like right here. And I will be showing you guys all the steps that I use to take my Instagram pictures, how I edit them, everything like that. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And without further ado, let's get started. And so the first thing I do in order to get a really nice Instagram picture is first, you really have to choose where you take your photo and like what the background is gonna be, what your surroundings look like, and also what you're wearing. And something that I like to do is I like to have a white theme. I like it to be very clean, very bright. Everything is white, so what I like to do is take pictures of white things. I like to wear neutral or white clothing, and I like to just have everything very like clean and kind of like go together. So definitely to have a theme on your Instagram, it's not as easy as just using the same filters on every single picture. It also has to do a lot with what you take your picture of and what you take your picture in front of. And another tip I have for taking a really great Instagram photo is to take a burst photo. And if you guys don't know what that is, you can just use your iPhone. I take all my photos on my iPhone. I feel like if I post any pictures, with like a, prof a professional camera my pictures like look weird and it doesn't look good on my Instagram I really just like like a, an authentic chill vibe on my Instagram so I use my iPhone 8 plus to take pictures you can use any iPhone honestly I feel like my iPhone 7 took the best pictures of all time um, but what I do is I just take my iPhone I swipe up to my camera and then instead of just clicking and taking the photo you hold down that camera button and you're gonna hear a noise I'll play it for you guys and you're gonna hear this noise when you take your photos. It literally just sounds like a bunch of clicks and it's gonna take like hundreds and hundreds of photos, but honestly it takes like five seconds. So if you just stand in front of your camera and whoever's taking your picture starts bursting, all you have to do is just like move around and smile and pose. And then at the end of it, you end up having like over a hundred of hundreds of photos to choose from. So, and then you end up getting like 10 photos out of your whole entire burst. So it's just very like less time consuming and it's just more efficient. I feel like when taking Instagram photos and that it really makes you get like an authentic photo and make it look like really nice and put together and fun, not just like you're standing in front of the camera and posing. So that was one of my biggest tips, burst photos. Everybody that I'm friends with and everybody that I meet is always like, oh my God, I always take burst photos because of Maggie. Like I know Gretchen takes them all the time now. I taught her how to do them. Kaylee and I always take them. Of course, Emma and I take them. Literally everybody takes burst photos now and it's just like one of the greatest inventions that have ever been on an iPhone. And then it goes into the actual editing part. And so I'm gonna do a screen recording of what I do specifically so you guys can follow along. So this is just what my phone looks like. I have all of my apps, but I only use two apps to edit my photos. And those are the two in the bottom right corner. So I use Afterlight and Visco or VSCO, whatever you call it, I don't really know. Um, but these are both free apps in the app store. Actually, I think Afterlight might be 99 cents, but I'm not positive. I've had this app forever, so I don't really know how much it costs, but I know that both of them are very inexpensive. If they do cost anything, it's probably no more than a dollar. So first I go into Afterlight and then it'll just open up my camera roll. So I go into my favorites folder just because I like to add photos to my favorites where like out of the burst, the ones that I really like and that I'm gonna edit for my Instagram to see what they look like. So as you can see, the photos that I just have in my favorites are some of the pictures that I've taken and that I like of myself. And my most recent ones I tried to take in front of like a light colored background, but sometimes it doesn't work and it's not completely white, which is totally fine too. It doesn't always have to be exact. So I'm just gonna edit this photo right here that I just recently took the other day and posted on my Instagram. So the first thing I do is I just go on the bottom to the little second icon with all of the lines and I click the sunshine one, which is brightness. And I just brighten up the picture a little bit just to you know, enhance the colors and stuff. So I add a little bit of brightness and then if you just hold down on the screen, it'll show you back and forth like what the original looks like versus what you brighten it or like what it looks like when you brighten it. So I don't really like how bright that is, so I'm gonna bring it down a little bit more and just add a teeny tiny bit because the more you brighten it, the less tan you look. And I like to look really tan in my pictures, so I don't wanna brighten it too much. And then the next thing I use is just the one next to it, which is like the gray half and the white half. 
circle thing so that is contrast and I use the contrast and as you can see it's gonna make you look really really tan so I just add a little bit of contrast on my photo and then I slide over to the square with the H and then the gray and white lines, which is highlights. And as you can see, highlights just makes all the colors be a little bit more highlighted, but it can make you look a little bit orangey. So I don't really like to use a lot of it. So I just use a little bit of it. And then to end off the photo, I just swipe all over to the right. And then I use the little triangle and that is sharpening. And I like to sharpen my photo just to make it look better quality so as you can see this is what my photo looks like when it is completely edited on afterlight and I'll show you guys I'll hold down on the original photo nothing really that intense I just kind of like enhanced everything a little bit so that is what the original looks like versus the one I just edited so and then I click done and then I save the photo and then I go back to my home screen and I just click on visco and then as you can see, I just have all of my pictures that I've edited. And one thing I like about Visco is that you can add your photo to your grid. And then on the app, you can physically see how your photos look together. So when you post them on your Instagram feed, you can see if your picture is going to look good with all the other ones that you have posted in the past. So a lot of these are just pictures that I posted on my Instagram, if not on my Visco. Um, but I edit them all the same way. So as you can see, I've edited this photo before already. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that so we aren't comparing that with all of the other ones. So now I'm just gonna go into this, go and add the photo that I just edited after, at, on Afterlight. So you just click the check mark in the right corner and then I'm gonna click on that photo and import it and then I add two edits on Visco and that's it so the two that I use is I go in and I use C1 which is all the way over here and you as you can see if you just hold down the screen and then tap on it um, it just really enhances your photo and it makes you look really tan but I like to just use a little bit of it so however much I feel like I need I'll use so I'll just use that much and I'll save it and then I save that photo to my camera roll. And then I delete it from the app. And then I go ahead and I re-add the one that I saved in my camera roll with C1. And I'm going to put another filter over it. And the filter that I use over it, and this is my main filter on my Instagram feed. You guys don't have to add two filters in. I just really like the way that C1 looks, and then I also like adding my filter over it. So I use A4, and some of my favorites on Visco are A4, A6, and also, which other one did I like? I think it's HB1 and HB2, I'll show you. Yeah, I really like HB2. So A4, A6, and HB2 are my favorites. Um, but I just use A4 on my pictures. And then as you can see, it just really makes everything like look more chill and like warm, but also like very like neutral. It kind of gives it like a brown undertone, which I don't really love right now. I feel like I'm gonna switch up my theme soon, but once everything's all together, like it ends up looking fine. Um, but then I just go in and then do the same thing where I kind of just take a little bit off because I don't want it to be super like edited and filtered with the colors. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of A4 and then save that. And as you can see, it just looks really nice with all of the pictures that I have right now and I will go back to my Instagram and show you guys like what my feed looks like as a whole and this is just what it looks like I have all of my pictures edited the same exact way every single time no matter what the picture like looks like I just edit it all the same way and then post it on my Instagram and then they all seem to just really flow nicely on my feed and also I just wanted to talk about the edits that I do use on Visco and I didn't purchase them because I know you can purchase some edits on the app but those ones actually just come with the app altogether I did buy like the big package but I don't like any of the edits that are on it I kind of just like to keep mine really simple and just like really chill so those are the edits that I use and also I know it's all like bad because I don't post every single picture that I take on Instagram if it like doesn't look good with my feed I'm like very very particular about like what I post I've been getting better about not being like that just because I know it like doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things like it really just matters what the picture looks like 
when people see it on their timeline, like no one's really gonna go through and click on your feed and look at it unless you're really into stuff like that. Like I am, like I really like people's feeds and I like looking at like the aesthetics of it and stuff. That's just something I've always been interested in. So I know that it isn't the same for a lot of people, but that is just what I personally like and what I do. And something that I do, like I talked about before, just to make sure that all of my pictures are like in sync and like look the same and have a really good aesthetic and all like flow together is I like to take the picture in front of something white or of something white. I like to wear neutral colors. I edit my pictures the same exact way and I also use like the burst feature to take my photos. And another thing that I do in order to have my Instagram looking like bright and white is I take all of my pictures with natural lighting, which I think is key because I feel like flat just kind of takes out the natural colors and like discolors it in a way that I don't really like. I don't really like how dark my photos get, um, but sometimes I do post pictures with flash, but I tend to just try to keep it very, very natural and use the natural lighting that I have from the day. And I also take a lot of pictures like during the daytime um, when it's nice out and not like in the direct sun, unless I'm at the beach and like can't help that of course. <laughs> but that is basically what I do for my Instagram and all of the tips that I have for you guys. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm leaving out or anything that you guys have asked. Basically the main questions that I get are how I edit my Instagram pictures, how I have a theme, and how I take my pictures. And those are really simple and I just share them with you guys. So all you really need is your iPhone and then two free apps from the app store. I don't really do anything fancy to them. I don't edit them like in any fancy ways. I don't, I just have my specific edits that I do on every single picture and then I take them with my burst feature and that's pretty much it. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, I will have my Instagram link down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. And if you guys end up using my theme or the way that I edit my pictures, um, you can send me pictures on Instagram. I would love to see what you guys' feed looks like. If you have a theme and you're working on one or anything like that, send them to me on Instagram because I love looking at new themes. And I think I'm going to come up with a new one now because I've been doing this one for so long that I feel like I need like something different on my Instagram. And I just want like a different vibe. So I'm gonna try to come up with a new edit and then when I do I'll share that one with you guys But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys